Good day all. Today we are heading to my little cottage in Sandwich uh, on Cape Cod and I'm going to be sharing. Um, I did some updates. I repainted and I got new furniture. I did all these things last spring and summer, which is why I got behind and didn't make many videos. But uh, let's head on over to Old King's. So here's the kitchen before I painted. It used to be in a sort of a buttery yellow with reds and little touches of blue. And uh, I really wanted to uh, update with more of a, I really wanted the whole house to have tones of blue because I think the uh, blues really highlight the wood grain. So you can see here now coming into the kitchen where prior it was all more of a bright sunny yellow now I've gone with a more a deeper robin's egg blue I think it offsets the blue and white dishes and um, I of course we still have our old fridge that fridge is from 1951 but it still chugs along fine but uh, I just wanted to update things and I also felt by giving everything sort of a unified color in here that the little touches of wood tone would just pop and uh, I've tried to use blue and white in the dishes and in the curtains and uh, even the uh, Oh yes, and I have a little tray here of coffees because I got more coffee machines, made a little coffee and tea area here in the kitchen. And then here's how the dining room, which is off the kitchen, was prior. It was in a sort of a Venetian red and uh, lots of different funny colored rugs because this is my rental cottage. So I got out the paint, although this is the only footage I have of my painting of last year, but I wanted a sort of colonial blue color. So whilst in the kitchen, it was a a brighter blue as you walk into the dining room over the more deeper reds I made this sort of grayish blue which I think kind of helps unify the space even though they are separate and I just really felt like the place needed a fresh look so here you can see again the crazy rugs and odd colors here and there and the red walls and then how the uh, red walls and here I am this is when I was first starting I have things piled all over I redid the bedroom as well but that went from red to the blues and then the blue and white dishes and then I found some draperies in blue and white which I loved so much I actually got them for the other house as well and uh, I even ta painted our old tabletop a navy to match then as you look into the open uh, living room sitting room area uh, and you can see the old beams up here at the top. I'm sorry my old footage, uh, this is my footage from before I redid things, it's a little bit shaky, but the uh, new footage is a, a bit smoother. But you can see all the old beams. This house is over 300 years old, so it's all hand-hewn beams. But now you can see how much more uniform it feels with the bluey, soft blue-grays, and uh, the new rugs with the shades of blue and green, and then the blue and white uh, curtains, draperies, and then I got a new leather sofa, two new leather chairs, and then uh, I just think it kind of blends more with the uh, blue tones, where prior it was yellows and reds with kind of a mismatch of odd colors and rugs that were kind of kooky and furniture that was just left over, but it was a rental property, but I felt it finally needed a little update. We used to have that funny rug with the big circles and the old sofa with the um, Asian pattern on it and my little French chair which I now have at Bunny Hall and the old TV and uh, even the built-in dresser and the door to the front hall all those were uh, sort of a creamy off-white they'd been that way forever so I really wanted to just update it with the blue because I think the blue with the brown as you can see here prior with the funky old rug but now we have a lovely oriental rug and blues and then you have the leather furniture and uh, deep chocolate browns and blacks and then a few old an old chair an old rug I'm sorry the TV is on I was <laughs> I had to get the cable set up for the season so I had to have it on to have it connect properly and then here we are in before I painted with the old door being white and now you can see don't you think it pops much nicer in that lovely sort of robin's egg blue 
it is an historical color but i can't recall what it's called and then as you here's the old door and it's cream and then you come into the hallway but now in the hallway i also changed this from creams and yellows to that same sort of historic colonial blue and then upstairs where there's a small hall and two bedrooms this is prior to my repainting and getting new furniture it was a very quirky mess of like old beds and funky random colors and things were just sort of a mishmash of things we had sitting about i mean it worked fine for an old uh, cape cod rental but i just really wanted to give everything a fresh lick of paint new rugs i even got new bedsteads new mattresses new side tables so uh, this is the the uh, before, still sort of a slaty blue color here, but I actually updated it with a um, this color. Oh, again, here we have this. Uh, the hallway is blue with a deep old colored doorway, and this is the main bedroom here. This is again prior to my painting. The bedroom is kind of a mishmash. I and I didn't like the way it set up. But we have built-ins here, and then the bed was kind of a funky spot in the corner where now. Um, you can see I've painted the door in the hall. I've got a new rug and a new chair, so this works well. And then uh, I think it ties into the hallway. If you're looking back down, that, that goes down into the little front hall. Again, this is a Cape Cod, so the upstairs is uh, sort of in the eaves or the attics. So now in this room, even though this bed is quite a sort of a modern bed, what I really wanted is, because this is a rental cottage, I don't want it full of fine antiques, but I wanted to give it sort of a uniform feel. So I got a really comfortable bed, a semi-modern sort of headboard, but it's quilted, so it's quite comfortable. But I painted the ceiling sort of this deeper um, greenish gray, and then the walls are a soft uh blue green and it kind of makes it feel it sort of plays up on it being sort of a snuggled in place you feel kind of like you're in a tree house and then in the little room here I painted everything where where before I just had one little wall painted a sort of slate gray I painted the uh, ceilings and the walls everything the same color in here because this is a very tiny little room but and I got the same blue and white curtains as down below and I have new bedsteads which are new but they look like iron um, antique beds and then uh, here you can see back downstairs, prior to my changing it with the old funky sofa and everything was miscolored in the old television, um, odd curtains, and again, just a mishmash of things I had, we had in the house for years as we were renting it out. But I really felt bringing in a unified blue and then the blue and white draperies and new furniture, rugs, new rugs with blue tones. I just think it everything ties together. Again, I'm really sorry the television on is, in, is on in the background. I had the volume off because I was trying to uh, get the cable to work so I didn't even realize it was on until I watched the footage. And then this old bathroom sign we kept in here because when we had my mother who had Alzheimer's in here for a while, we had to have... Uh, doors labeled so I kind of keep it there just as an homage to she being in here and I repainted the bathroom we have new wood on the ceiling and we also have new wood on the floor which I forgot to film but I'll probably be filming again here um, uh, over the next month just because I'm open, opening the cottage now for the season and then as you walk through you can see it feels more uniform now to have that sort of historic blue and then now this is the bedroom off the dining room which I did in soft greens but prior to that I got a little bit of footage of it used to be the old cedar shake wall of the exterior of the house because this part was added onto the kitchen in probably the 50s and so it really needed an update so I, that white is me painting out all the old cedar shakes and then I got a beautiful soft sage green and I painted out all the shingles all the drywall put up new trim and uh, brought in a bookcase and kind of made everything a uniform color so I just kind of feel like as you sit in here it feels more everything feels more tied together so soft tones of light blues and greens, touches of navy blue, and then of course the pop of the old historic wood. And we have our old grand piano, which is sort of the same tones as the ceiling, the old beams, posted beams. And then I have my old Winthrop desk in the center. Used to kind of be just stuck in the corner. And then as you walk through here into the kitchen. So I think I'm gonna let music play and uh, just let you have a little walk through and a ride home and I'll talk to you when we get back home.
and home again, home again, jickety jig. And I hope you enjoyed uh, my funny little tour of my antique cottage. But I'm back home at Bunny Hall, and uh, we had some rain, and then we had some sun. You can see out in the distance there is a storm out to sea, which was here this morning. It's blown its way out to sea. You can see the promise of sun in the distance. I'm not sure if you can hear my chickens in the distance. And of course there's Algernon Siegel. But again, I hope you enjoyed my little tour. A kind a funny mix of how uh, the cottage was before I repainted and added new furniture, which I actually did this past summer, which is why I was able, which why I actually stopped filming last summer. I just got so busy um, in spring that I just wasn't able to catch up. Um, but I'm going to be uh, there still doing things to open up the cottage in the next few weeks. So I'm going to try to get footage. Probably just going to be doing a few more garden things. And also I got those few little lamps and a cute chair, which I will actually show those in situ at the cottage if I remember. <laughs> uh, but thank you for joining me for today's tour of uh, Old King's Cottage. And until my next video, uh, I hope you find a moment in your day to enjoy your own local area and a moment to get out and enjoy whatever season it happens to be where you live. And until my next video, remember, stay creative. Cheers. <laughs>